Hey, yarn bees. So today is our last day here. We're just getting ready to leave. We're packing up the car. I'm feeding baby. And, uh, whoop, hang on. <laughs> um, and then we're on our way home. It's going to be hard. I'm going to try not to cry. I did my cry last night. Um, I had Axel sleep with me all night. Uh, just to have my last cuddle time until we go. Um, but yeah, I'm having separation anxiety. Never expected that. But I am. So, <clears throat> but I will get through that. And uh, I will see him soon. Okay, so apparently I'm... I, I, <laughs> apparently I can't video and feed baby and all that at once. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll see him again soon, I guess. And, uh, yeah. You guys didn't warn me how hard it was going to be to leave. Hey, his eyes are open. Hey, he's looking at the camera. Say hi, Yarnabies. Say hello. Say we're doing good. We're doing really good. <laughs> oh. So, okay, guys, I'm going to go. And I will talk to you guys later. Hello, Yarna Bees. How are you today? I'm home. I'm finally home. <sighs> I, I, wow. What a week. What a week. I, for those of you that don't know, I was at my daughter's for the last week taking care of my new grandbaby, Axel. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will link that above or below. Um, uh, I'm very emotional right now. Um, nobody told me that when I got home, I would be suffering from separation anxiety. Uh, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I had such a good time, such a good time. I was exhausted, but man, I had a blast. Oh, <clears throat> I forgot what it was like to take care of a baby, but um, I had so much else going on. Uh, thank God for my sister. Um, I don't think I could have done it uh, like that if my sister hadn't have been there to support me. So Charlene, I love you. Thank you so much. If you're watching this, thank you so much for coming and helping me. Uh, my niece was there. My pregnant niece was there as well. She was um, uh, like a support for Tia. They got to talk and Tia got to explain to her what, what she just went through. Things to expect. Um, <clears throat> you know, things that uh, Tia wasn't expecting. And um, Michelle got the chance to ask questions. It was just an all around good time. Um, <clears throat> Axel is, oh, I'm sure a lot of grandmas say this, but Axel was the perfect baby. He didn't cry much. Um, he slept a lot. He, he was just a really good baby. You know what I mean? Like he he didn't fight with the fight fight with the food, you know, eating. <clears throat> you know, he was just oh he was a he's a blessing, you know, and I really enjoyed my time with him. Um he's a night baby for sure. Uh he likes to be awake at night uh, around two, three o'clock in the morning and just look around and just that was the time that I spent to have grandma time. So uh, it was very special. 
and uh, I can't try not to cry. Woo. <clears throat> I tried really hard to make sure that everybody got baby time. You know, I wasn't just hogging the baby. Uh, I had things to do too, so I made sure that, you know, my sister got to hold Axel. I made sure that Michelle got to hold Axel. Michelle was terrified. <laughs> I said, you better get used to it. You got you got yours coming in three months. So, oh, oh God, three months and we got another one coming. Oh, oh good times. So, um, <clears throat> you know, and then when... James's sister came. I tried to make sure that Karen got to uh, to hold the baby. Uh, um, Tia's dad. I tried to get make sure that he had his baby time uh, before James left for this job. I made sure that he had baby time, but he was really chaotic at that point. He he was like, I got to pack. I got to get this and that and that. so it was like, okay, yeah. But <clears throat> um, yeah, it was. It was something else. It was, um, there was a lot of things that I didn't expect that happened. And, uh, I, uh, yeah, like I was expecting like a raging crying baby with gas pains and, you know, like staying up at night, like all night or, you know, I was expecting a whole host of other things that happened to, uh, me when I had my kids none of that happened none of that happened he had gas and he was farting a lot but you know like he he let out a little wail but then it was done you know, like it was just a wah and that was it right like it was um it was nothing like I had so he just oh he was a champ he was a champ but his gas pains, I don't think, were very bad. Um, so he would just fart and poop and whatever, and he was good, right? Very happy baby. Very happy baby. So <clears throat> um, I I think Tia is going to be fine. Um, we'll see as he grows how he changes. But he is such a good kid. Oh, my God. I just, oh, I could just eat him up. So, sorry, coffee, I need it. Um, what else? Uh, <clears throat> the food, I I was fanatical about making sure that Tia and James had enough food that they didn't have to worry for a while. Um, so Tia didn't have to make dinners or anything. Uh, I made a, um, what did I do? <clears throat> um, I put... The chicken bones in the Instapot. I I found something new. I was watching two crazy ketos on YouTube, and they were talking about how you can take your turkey bones, put them in an Instapot, and they come out squishy soft, and you can actually eat them and break. Them. Let me put that clip in here. Good morning, Yarna Bees. I have something interesting to show you. I was watching a video called Two Crazy Ketos. I will leave their link down below. Some of my Yarnabees probably know who they are. But they had a video that I think it was after Thanksgiving where they took the turkey bones and they put them in a Instapot and they um, uh, pressure cooked them for two hours and the bones came out real like the mushy and you can eat them because bone marrow and everything I mean that's where all the nutrition is and it's good for dogs and cats and people and I was like yeah right like I didn't believe it so I did it and except I pressure cooked it for four hours because I'm paranoid like that so let me show you okay here's the pressure cooker <laughs> And I, I filled the water up to the max line <clears throat> and I, pu I pushed, um, where are we here? Pressure, I don't know if you guys can see that. Pressure cooker. And then I hit the button like here to make it up to two hours. And then I did it a second time. And oops, here's all the bones. 
Let me take this bone out and show you. This just freaked me right out. Bone marrow and stuff is so good for you. Because that's where all the nutrients lie. Okay, there we go. There. Okay. Look at this. Whoops. <laughs> Look at that. It's just brittle. Watch this. Can you believe that? I'm I'm in shock. I'm in absolute shock. I'm gonna give some to the dog and the cat. See how they like it. And um I might even try to get T and Michelle to try some for the babies. But that's the most nutrient dense food that you can eat. So I thought that was pretty cool. And you can put spices in there. You can put whatever you want in there. Just to jazz it up. Wow. Game changer. Crazy, right? I I was just absolutely in shock uh, when um, the two crazy ketos would bite the bone and eat it. And I was like, I, I so need to do that. The bones have such major nutrients in them, uh, the marrow as well. So um, I thought that would be perfect, you know, if Tia wanted to get some more nutrients, but she kind of tried it and she was like, blah, blah, blah. no, thank you. <clears throat> Just the concept of eating a bone she didn't like. But um, so I even tried Michelle, get, got Michelle to try it. No, mm -mm, didn't happen. So I gave them to her puppy. Um, Cleo loves them. Um, and they were just, they just broke up. They didn't even break apart. They just kind of mushed apart, you know. So um, I got a bag of that for Cleo so that she can give him treats, her treats. Uh, and then I also had the pig skin so that um, it, that's in the freezer so I've got that for the dog uh, let's see I so out of that I ended up having a whole instapot full of um, chicken broth again and I was like holy cow like two I made chicken soup with or turkey soup with the bones the first time then I put them in the instapot and I got another batch of um, chicken broth. I was like, holy cow, like I can't believe I got all of that out of like a set of turkey bones. Like that, that really blew me away. So I've got a big mason jar of that in the fridge for Tia so that she can either make soup out of it or she can just warm it up and, and drink it if she's too tired to cook or, you know, so I, I really tried to set her up for success. Um, <clears throat> She sent me a message uh, yesterday, say, like when we were on our way home, saying, I just realized I'm alone now. <laughs> if, you know, so all of a sudden that fear sets in of, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't, what am I supposed to do? Like, you know, and she kind of had that for a few minutes, you know, like all of a sudden that fear of, Oh, I have no one here to back me up. Um, so she had that. And <clears throat> of course, the mothering instinct in me is like, okay, get back on the ferry. Go. <laughs> so, but it's like, no, Sandy, you got to calm down. Uh, so they had their first night together alone. And I think it went well. Um, I'm going to have to have a chat with her and, and make sure. Oh, God. My hair is just. I think I just. I'm having a light bulb burnout session here. Oh, I'm going to have to get George to check that. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, they had their first night together alone. And I think, I hope it went well. Um, and James will be home in a couple of days. So this will give her a chance to um, really 
connect and really uh, figure out how to be a mom when she's alone. And I'm so happy. I'm so glad it worked out that way because she needs that. Um, you know, and I'm just a phone call away, right? I'm just a video chat away if she needs any help. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, so it was, it was a lot of fun. It was, I, I, I started to realize that I'm not a, how do I say that? I'm capable of doing more than I think I am when the crunch is on. When it's when the pressure's on and I need to do it, I know I can do it. Uh, to, I, I came home and I basically said, hi George, love you, I'm glad I'm home, hugs, hugs, hugs. And then boom, I was in bed, right? <clears throat> I had a bath, I had a vodka britzer, and I went to bed. And I actually slept for 16 hours. Yeah. <clears throat> I did not realize that was going to happen. But yeah, 16 hours. Holy cow. And then I woke when I woke up, my back felt broken. Um, it's hurting really bad. So I had to take some painkillers. Um... I'm sure that that's just because of everything that just went on and then I'm finally set, starting to settle. Um, but yeah, ooh, pain, pain, pain. <sighs> Thank God for painkillers. You know, oh. So, um, when I got home, I too... Now, now I am sitting here going, I totally forgot my routine. Um, I'm, I feel out of sorts now at home. I'm kind of, excuse me. I'm kind of going like, okay, what am I supposed to be doing right now? It's like, I don't have a little one to run after. I don't have my daughter to take care of, excuse me, to take care of. I don't have, I'm not, you know, cooking. I'm not like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? <laughs> like, I have no clue. So I thought, I'm going to do a video. <laughs> so <laughs> try and get myself back into uh, some sort of a routine. Uh, so let's do that, shall we? I just spent 13 minutes of talking about the baby, which I'm probably going to do a lot of. And I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> if you're not interested in that, just fast forward it. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> um, I did come home to a couple of Christmas cards that I would like to um, tell you about. This one is from the wonderful Samantha at Amethyst Craftworks. <clears throat> I have never seen a black Christmas card before. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. So she sent me a, um, a beautiful note inside. I am feeling a lot better. I'm that cold was brutal, but you know, <clears throat> now I've just got like every once in a while, I'll do a little cough or something. I get this little tickle thing. I don't know. Oh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then this one was from Natalie, from Natalie's, oh my God, I forgot the name of her channel. Natalie's Crochet? Oh, Natalie, I'm so sorry. Um, for Natalie, Mom, and Miley. Miley's her puppy. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, beautiful card. So thank you so much. There's even a nut, oops, nutcracker on the back. <laughs> thank you so much for those. <clears throat> oh, so I, as I said in my other video, I got zero crochet done while I was there. Although the night before I left, I remembered, oh, I'm supposed to be making Axel a hat because the hat that I made him was too small. He had a little bit of a bigger head, uh, so it didn't quite come down over his ears, and it kept coming off. 
And so I quickly made up a little hat for him. But that is the only crochet I did. And I had to frog part of it four times. I was so out of sync. You know, it was like I I was focused on baby and Tia and that was it. I I completely <laughs> forgot how to crochet. Um, it, it was crazy. It was like everything else just went out the window. Nothing else was important. So, but I did get that little hat done. So that was good. <clears throat> Before I left, I was rushing to get this finished. Um, and I'm so proud of this. And this is going to be going, and I hope Michelle's not going to be watching this video. <laughs> if you are, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Um, I'm making this for her. I made this for her baby boy. Oh, make sure I'm not running over the dog. Oh, can you, oh, can you see that? And it's got a hood. And it's got buttons. Oh, so it's got the cuffs. So if you need it longer, you can do I've done that on the arms and the legs. Uh, it's got the tassels, whoops, the tassels on it so that you can, you know, you know. Um, I had so much fun making this. And yes, this is another Simona's crochet. I'll leave her link down below. When she put this video out, I was so intimidated. I was like, oh, I don't know if I can make that. So it was in my... Um, what do you call it? My list of things to my watch list. Um, and it stayed there. And I was like, I don't know if I can do that. And then I finally went, you know what? Just do it. What's the worst that can happen? You screw it up, you frog it and be done with it. Right? So I did it. And I was actually shocked at how easy it was to do. Uh, you know, it's you make it from the top down. Right. And it was it was easy. I couldn't believe it. So, yeah. So I finished that because I figured her her baby's due in April. I figured, OK, he will be eight months, I think. So, yeah, about eight months in October. So this should fit him unless she has a big baby. But then I was looking at Axel. Axel's legs are really long and I thought well this these are long enough and these come down so if he needs more length then he's got it right <clears throat> so I'm hoping that's gonna work out oh uh yeah so I'm trying to kind of figure out sizing and stuff because Axel is actually um, it's weird. It's like his, his torso is regular baby size. His legs are really long. His arms are regular. Like he's going to be tall. I think he's going to be really tall. So if I decide to make anything for him, it's, I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I think Michelle's baby is going to be the same, similar because he, she's already measuring her long legs. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess we'll find out. Um, so I made that and that's about all I've done, guys. I just, yeah, I've just been focusing on trying to get baby stuff done. Um, I found a, a YouTube channel. I forget the name of it, but, um, she was talking about, the heck have I got on my finger? Um, she was talking about a book. This is this is for all the YouTubers out there that are watching me. And for the people that are thinking about getting on YouTube. <clears throat> Daryl Ives is a uh, kind of like a speaker for YouTube. Um, he is like the guru of YouTube stuff. And he's got a lot of information for YouTubers. <clears throat> that is really good and easy to understand. Well, he has a book out that I didn't know about. And so I bought the book. 
and this is it. The YouTube formula. Uh, I have not started reading this yet. I was thinking I was going to be able to read it on the ferry or on, while I was at uh, Tia's house. And I didn't even crack the book open. Didn't even touch it. So now that I'm home, I am going to read this book. <clears throat> um, so once I start reading it, I will let you know. I'm sure I, I'm positive that this is going to have a wealth of information in it. Uh, so yeah, there's his name. <clears throat> Go to his YouTube channel. I will put his link down below. And for those of you that are, um, you know, considering, I, I've had a lot of messages from you guys saying that you're considering doing a YouTube channel, but you're scared to, you don't know what to do. Uh, he is the guy. Okay. He is the guy, uh, for all the information that you need. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> all week I've been having creamer in my coffee, which is not good for me. Uh, it gives me the hems. <clears throat> now I'm back to my regular stuff and my body doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, he is the wealth of information. So go check him out. Uh, and I will let you know how this book is. Okay. What else? What else? I've got 43 videos in my queue that I need to watch today. So I am actually going to finish a cardigan that I had started that is in my whip pile. Uh, so I, I have to do the sleeves and the collar and then I'm done. It's been sitting there for months. So I'm going to get that finished today. Darn it. <laughs> and then um, I'll show that to you in my next video. What else? Oh, I have... Mm, it's over there. The box for the Christmas giveaway that I did. Um, the winner contacted me with her address and everything. I'm going to get that out this week. <clears throat> <clears throat> probably tomorrow now that I'm more rested what, what day is it today yeah it's the week okay so I'll get that out oh. sorry um I will get that out tomorrow uh and then I've got all these boxes here for these are the um mystery boxes that I will have for sale. I will do that on another video. I don't even know how many I've got. I've forgotten. I've got a few of them in different um, price ranges. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. Okay, I think that's it for now. Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about grandma stuff. <laughs> Gigi's tired. <laughs> oh. So anyways, okay guys, I love you all. Thank you for joining me and oh, happy new year. Happy new year, guys. I I totally botched that, you know, like I had plans and everything and that out oh, the window. Um, so I hope your new year's was good. I hope you guys are healthy and safe. And uh, yeah, let's make this new year great. Oh, wasn't that what Trump said? Anyway, okay, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye.